sorry, the big nerd needs to nerd out once in a while. We watch Hello Okanagan from the DC Universe. Welcome back to another episode, Hello Okanaganers. Today, we are experiencing ours truly. Peter Kaz is putting on Vernon Comic Con here at the Vernon Lodge. Come follow us inside to check out all the cool stuff. Also, if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. Hit the big red button that says subscribe and smash that like button for Peter. Guys, let's go nerd out. Follow us. Welcome to another episode of Hello Okanagan, and guess what? We're geeking out once again, our third episode about nerdism. What's it all about, David? What's your favorite thing about nerdism? I gotta say, the cosplay is my favorite. I love when people can get dressed up as their favorite characters and really embody those characters and just feel amazing. So if you're into like Spider-Man, Star Wars, Captain America, Superman, you grew up being a fan. This is about fandom. And guess what? You don't have to go to a big city to nerd out or geek out with your friends or make new friends and see cosplayers and everything else and find that wicked collectible. We have it here in the Okanagan. There's Pentacon, there's Vernon Comic Con, which we're gonna show, and then there's the big daddy of them all, the Kelowna Comic Con. Adam from Kelowna Comic Con is here. How's it going, guys? Brother, thank you for being here. No, thank you for having us. So, we're so excited. What, it's fantastic. What got you into all of this as world? So I was <laughs> I was dragged back into this world uh, with a with a need for creating a much bigger venue without traveling five hours to yeah. the uh, to, Any, uh, anywhere to the else. city. That's right. So I mean, much like you, there was a need for it here. We we're just trying to fulfill the need, right? And building that community and helping that community establish and realize that hey, we're not the only ones here who like nerdy things and uh, all these fandoms. Uh, really helps all the individual communities build and grow. And, Make friends. Everybody. So get online and see when one of the three Comic Cons are happening in the Okanagan and check it out. When is yours? We're in August at the, uh, at the Capital News Center on the 20th and 21st. And how do people get a hold of you? What's the website? So they can go to ColonaComicCon.com. Now that's Comic Con with two C's, not three. C O M I C O N. And we can't wait to hear from you. We're so excited. There's a huge feedback already. We're almost at capacity. We're really excited. Sorry, the big nerd needs to nerd out once in a while. I'm literally shaking right now. This is why I put on Vernon Comic Con, so I can geek out once a year. <laughs> and I let everybody else come to the party. Welcome to one of my favorite places at the Vernon Comic Con. Or any con, you guys are at a lot. A lot of people think he's a bad guy, but when he's at a con, he's actually a good guy. Right now, they're doing a photo op for Neufus. By donations, you get to do a photo with the 501 Legion, 501st. I don't know if we can hear you really well, so you may have to speak up, Dart. Sure. But you do a lot of cons. You also visit a lot of hospitals. Co and Comic cons. He doesn't con people as Darth Vader. Let's just clarify that. We were talking about cosplaying inside. This is the ultimate cosplaying. You can't be in the 501st if you bought your Star Wars outfit on Amazon. Correct. Like, these things are intricate. How long did it take you to put this together? It's still a work in progress. It's still a work in progress. Yeah. You still need to get into it and 
a standard, but you're always nitpicking and you're always looking for things you can always improve on. This gentleman's name is Rob Potter from Kelowna as Kelowna Vader. If you want to get in touch with him, he's on social media. We'll put his tag on the bottom. Thank you so much. You've actually been with me since the first con. You can't see, I'm pumping, yeah, I'm doing a fist yeah. pump. I can't see. From here down, I'm done. Hey everyone, from day one, our first logo was the Towns. And we started working with a friend of ours, Brad from Kelowna, with a company called Snappy Prince. And guess who's here at the Comic Con? Brad, how you doing? I'm doing great. Gotta get back to work though. He's gotta get back to work. Everyone's busy, buying busy. shirts. Everyone's buying shirts, guys. Just this. like this, and just like this. You can get that, and he's got a ton of other fun stuff. Look at the board up there. There's a link in the comments to go to Snappy Prince. You can get your order, or go to helloconagan.com. And most of the time, if you're in the area, we can bring it to you for free. Check it out right now. As you know, the Burning Comic Con is the first Saturday in May every year. Why? Because it's International Free Comic Book Day. And one of the main distributors for comic books in the North Okanagan is Ebenezer's. Kelly's busy right now. If you can see, that. look how long this is. He's got everything. Funko Pops and comic books, obviously. And, and we should probably say this has been the line for like four hours. Okay, so like it hasn't died down. I think we've had thousands of people come through this line. Absolutely crazy the demand today. No, we love this guy. Thanks. Thanks, Kelly. Hope you're watching the show. You're, Check you're, out Ebenezer's for all your the comic book and collectible needs, guys. <laughs> All right guys, we're here with Captain Jack Sparrow, who surprisingly has made time for Vernon Comic Con, even though he's in the middle of a big trial right now. Um, so, Jack. Hello. Welcome, how are you doing? I could be better, of course, but. <laughs> and how long have you been playing Jack Sparrow? Oh, on and off uh, for about eight, eight years or so, you know, and due to this virus that uh, all of a sudden came up. Fair enough, fair enough, my friend. Well, it's great to see you at Comic-Con. It's great to see it's so busy. I'll let you get back to uh, hunting for the Black Pearl, okay? Thank you, mate. All right, my friend. Thank you. Hey, BB-8. How you doing? All right. Here's our good buddy Paul from Omar Collectibles making another cameo on Hello Okanagan, but he's dressed as a Thanks, joker Dave. today. How you doing, Paul? Good. Paul is an expert in all things collectibles here what? in Vernon, so we're very, very lucky to have him at uh, at this year's Comic Con. And would you say this is the biggest showing we've this had? This is yet? this is amazing. I'm blown away. This yeah. is big. Well, what's your favorite part of Comic Con? What are you looking forward to? I uh, just uh, just for our town, uh, for everyone to come out. This is just amazing. Um, to, to just to see all the people out again, it's just excellent. Look at and, it, and all perplexed. the different stuff, and other people from out of town come here with the, with their collections and stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. great. Well, thank you so much, yep. Paul. You bet. We'll let you get back to it because your booth you is just bumping. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you some more soon. You thank bet. you. Welcome back, Hello Okanaganers. We're here with George McHale, who, as I understand, you make your own comic. That's right, yeah. Awesome, man. Where are you based? I'm from Kelowna. You're from Kelowna? Awesome. Welcome to Vernon Comic Con. We're very excited to have you. So tell us a little bit about kind of the origin story synopsis of your comic and where the idea came from. Absolutely. Um, so I have a series called Cover of Darkness, which is like uh, Game of Thrones meets Universal Monsters. So it uh, follows a family in medieval Romania. They get separated from each other. No way, I'm Romanian. 
Yep. <laughs> we're in medieval Romania, Transylvania kind of style. Exactly, yeah, okay, cool. yeah. where all the creepy stuff happens. Yeah, of course, always. And so it's about their journey back to each other. And uh, along the way, they encounter vampires, werewolves, the mummy, creature from the Black Lagoon, all that I've great stuff. I've encountered many of those myself, uh, actually. So <laughs> very cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. And how long have you been doing this for? Four years. Four, Four years. years. Yeah. And obviously, great success. You're selling lots of copies. You go to lots of cons. I go to conventions all across North America. We've published uh, Cover Darkness is in comic book stores everywhere. Amazing, man. It's very exciting. Well, we'll let you get back to it. Thank you so much for your time, George. Awesome. And good luck with all the stories. Thanks Thank you, man. Me. Hey, everyone. We found a Hello Okanagan fan. There's four of you out there, and we found one of them. What, you, me, Mitchell, and them? Like? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Our parents watch the show, too. <laughs> so are you, you're here because of the Burman Comic Con. Yes. What do you guys geek out about the most? All of Cosplay? Uh, comic books and art. Anything specifically you guys look for or like? Comics. What about you, little man? Who's your favorite character? Oh, really? <laughs> well, he's not a character. He's real life. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. Awesome. Guys, this is so much fun. It's all about kids. Adults who are still kids having fun, finding that collectible, geeking out. Let's go see some more fans. Hey everyone, welcome to a special room right now. We're here with Ken from Orchard City Games. Ken, you're part of the Comic Con here. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming down. So tell us what's exactly happening in your special room. Um, so we've got some games going on. We've got Win a Box games for uh, Pioneer, Modern, Standard in um, MTG, Magic the Gathering. And then we've also got space for playing Digimon or Flesh and Blood. And uh, we've got all of those products with us as well as Pokemon and a ton of board games and the sleeves and accessories and all that stuff. So One of the more popular ones that people seem to be purchasing the most. Uh, right now, Pokemon is a big hit and our single cards because we have a massive collection of uh, singles and stuff, high value cards that people are kind of looking for yeah. all the time. Yeah. If people want more information on Orchard City, what's your website? Our website is um, orchardcitygames.com. And so, you're located where? Uh, we're in West Kelowna. So awesome. it's in the uh, West Bank Shopping Center, right next to the Tim Hortons and the Wendy's. You can't miss us if you go through the Tim Hortons drive through awesome. Our sign's right in front of you. So Awesome, brother. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah, it's great to be a part of the community. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Hey everyone, if you want to see more behind the scenes and some fun stuff, we're also on social media. David, where do they find us? Head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all Hello Okanagan. Hey everyone, that's another wrap of another episode of Hello Okanagan. Thanks for joining us. And Thank you so much for watching, guys. Nerding out and all this fun festivities. Check out the next cons. They're in Kelowna and Penticton. We do it right in the Okanagan. Thousands of people here at the Vernon one. This was one of the best, guys. Thank you for watching, and thank you for coming if you were here.